All right, guys, here we are down at Golf Central tonight, and now we have the fourth instalment of the Mizuno MPA Teen Range. Now, these are a flow on from the MP18 MMC. These are called the fly highs, and they're in the long irons. Two iron? Three iron. Three iron and four iron. Um, I don't, I haven't done enough research, I'm sorry, but I, I don't think there's a one iron. I know the H5s that these precede. There used to be a one on <laughs> so again multi-material technology no titanium in this one but there's plenty of tungsten in the toes loft wise uh, 20 degrees in the three iron 18 degrees and 22 or 23 degrees in the four iron shafts in these ones at the moment are uh, c-taper lights you can get any shaft you want now i suppose i don't want to criticize it too much but they are not forged uh, that's probably the only thing. I did have an MPH5, which I liked, but I didn't like. It was certainly a firmer, louder sort of a feel. Okay. Now, these, are, I believe, are made from the same material. They do look a lot different to an MPH5, which, again, which is what it proceeds. Top line looks much better. Yeah. Big fan of the top line. It really isn't... Quite as chunky and bulbous as what the, maybe the H5 was. Probably the only criticism I might have, and maybe some other people might have, but you need to check that out yourself yeah. and see them, is that you can see the ass end a decent amount. And again, you can on practically every single driving iron. You yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think. So I think you need a balance between the top line and the ass popping out. Yeah. It's almost like waist. See, I don't. And hips, I don't yeah. <laughs> I don't mind it. Um, I don't, I don't have a three iron personally. I don't think I've carried a three iron now for for a couple of years. Um, so, from from my point of view, I don't mind them putting it in as a maybe a hybrid alternative. Um, that that's where it would sit in my bag personally. Uh, it feels good uh, personally. That was a bit heavy. No, it was good, but it was oh, okay. loud. Like it's, it's, it is loud, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. See, this is it, a yeah, two iron. I actually don't mind them personally, but again, that's my personal opinion. And that's um, why you need to test them out yourself. Exactly. Um, yeah, I mean, if you compare it to your current set, it may, it may fit in somewhere or replace something, replace something that uh, that you've currently got. Um, as for me, would it replace anything? Maybe. Um, it might go in instead of a hybrid. Uh, again, depending on maybe the course that you're playing or something like that. But it feels it feels pretty good. Um, more feedback than a hybrid ever would, would give you. Yeah. Like di again, distance-wise, these go a long way. Like this is. Yeah. Yeah. Currently, I'm using a, a Srixen U45. They are forged, but that's probably the only reason I might game that over maybe these. It, it's got a totally different feel to it. Yeah. Uh, again, there's, there's no bagging it because it, if you're talking about distance and you're talking about numbers certainly does everything that it should do oh 100 percent. and a lot of guys on tour the mizuno guys and even the, not the mizuno guys have these in the bag instead of say a two or a three on yeah and you can feel you know because it's got such a light shaft in it you can feel the weight in the toe of this club um and yeah it, it's very uh it's very easy to hit it right i found as opposed to as opposed to left because couldn't quite get the toe around quick enough but again that's where you'd need to be fit in regards to length and lies yeah. and shafts and yeah. whatever else obviously but it, it feel like I, said, I don't mind it yeah I, I, re I really don't mind it um to be perfectly honest if i was getting the mp18 set like we've been talking about in the other videos how you split it up into the different sections this might be there instead of the other four iron yeah because it's just a sorry this one the four iron obviously yeah, yeah. um just because it's a slightly easier hit, might come off a bit hotter. Um, four iron's a tough, a tough club to hit, in my opinion. Hundred so, percent. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be embarrassed to put one in personally. But that's just me. Again, um, you might not like it. You might not like how, it, like Al said, how you can see the uh, this, flange. Yeah, this back end part here. The, but the, the, arse, the end. arse end. I yep. just say the arse end because it's easy for me to say. But like I said, the top line looks great. It does. Um, again, with these uh, under lights at the moment, obviously shadows will play, play a big part with how we can see it here. Correct. And even on the close-ups that you can see, you may not be able to see it quite how you would in the sunlight. Yeah, yeah. It might 
like they're shiny, obviously, so they oh, yeah. reflect a fair bit. Um, but yeah, like, like I said, I, I, I don't mind them personally. No, nah. um, like yeah. flight and numbers, everything's great in that regard. Yeah, yeah. just um, like I said, top line looks great. It's got a very nice low profile this way. Yeah, it does. It's, it's not a very high face, and that's the criticism I have with the Srixon. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so it, if it, you can have a forged version of this, Mizuno or, any, or anybody, mm. there you go. That's I'd, I'd be all over it. It's a lovely profile this way. It, it does complement the rest of the irons and that sort of stuff, how it gets smaller and smaller the, the longer you get, and then this would just... It, the whole yeah. set of the MP18 stuff progressed fantastic. So again, this in the long stuff, MMSCs, SCs, and then the blades down. It's gonna suit very well. Like it's it's all tour ready. That's what Mizuno was saying. Everything is tour ready. And again, there's plenty of guys on tour that are using these, and some and maybe the SCs in the long stuff and mm. then the blades down. Yeah. So the helps there. You need to get fit and, and check out the combo set if you want to do that. Well, you you could quite easily pick and choose each individual iron out of the set, and it wouldn't look. It out wouldn't feel out of place. It wouldn't. Yeah. If you go the SC in a four iron and MMC in a five iron and then back to an SC, yeah, it, it wouldn't matter. Actually, that's it, very it, true. It really wouldn't matter because they all look great. They all feel great. Um, obviously, I've got my preference to the blade. I'm sure Alan does as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I really don't mind this. I would quite easily, it would quite easily replace a four iron in my bag. Put it this way, in my opinion, it's better than the MPH5 all day. Yeah. Yeah. So, Mizuno went from the MPH5 to this, and it's certainly better than that in regards to looks. Feels very similar, but looks much better. So the tungsten in the toe helps. Correct, tungsten in the lot. toe. It's yep. definitely a winner over the MPH5. Yeah, 100%. Guys, thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for checking out the MP18 range. Uh, if you haven't, go check it out. The Blade, the SC, and the MMC. Guys, we'll see you next time. Like, share, subscribe. Hashtag irons and touch us off. Hashtag nothing feels like a Mizuno. Yeah, I've got him trained oh, yeah. well. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.